Hey guys, how's it going? The Soulful Lockpicker here, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over how you can make a bump key just like the one you see right here. Bump keys are very useful tools because you can use them to open up locks very quickly. What I'm using is a Schleg SC4 bump key to open up this six pin Schleg lock. And just look at how quickly we got it. More information is to come on how to make these wonderful tools in just a second. Please stay tuned. <laughs> So I'd like to first start off by going over what is a bump key. So a bump key is going to essentially be a maximal space and depth key. So what it's going to be is it's going to be a cut, cut all the way down to the maximal cut of your lock going all the way across. And one additional thing is you can see on the tip here, you're going to cut one space past the tip just so it's going to be symmetric on the slopes. So when I go to take this key out, you're going to see it's not going to come out because there's going to be a maximal length key pin. In Schleg that's going to be a 9, so I'm not going to be able to retract this key. If this lock did not have any 9 cuts in it, it would just slip right out. So locking it back up, we're able to get out our bump key. And you can see the very small difference between the space and depth key and the bump key, and it's going to be the lack of the extra bit of slope on the very end of the tip. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get my code cutter ready. I'm going to use my HPC Blitz machine. We're going to cut all the way down to the nines, going all the way across, and we're going to make a really quick bump key. All right, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Schleg SC1 key, which is a five pin key, and we're going to turn this into a bump key. I'm choosing this one because it's easier because it's going to space out very easily on my machine because this machine goes up to six spaces on Schleg. So the first thing you're going to want to do before you ever get started though, is just make sure you have some safety glasses on because you want to be very, very careful that you're not going to get any metal flakes in your eye. So in order to get started, the first thing you want to do is just make sure you really understand your machine. On my HPC machine, I'm going to make sure I have the correct code card. I'm going to have my Schleg large pen card. And then you're going to want to make sure that you have the right cutter blade. I have the CW14MC installed right here. And I have the correct jaw, jaw A, installed right here. So in order to recap, what we're going to do is we're going to go to position 1. We're going to be cutting all the way to the maximal depth, which is going to be 9. On every lock you work on to make a bump key, it is going to be different, but what we're going to do is we're always going to be cutting down to the maximal depth and we're going to be cutting to every space and then one space further just to cut the tip down just a little bit. So let's get started. So the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to insert our key blank right into the jaw. Then we're going to get our shoulder gauge and we're going to lift that up. This shoulder gauge is going to make it so that our spacing is going to be correct. And then once we do that, we're going to put it right back down. Now we're going to move our machine over to position one, and then we're going to turn it on. So once our machine is on, what we're gonna do is we're going to cut all the way down to nine on the first position, and then we're going to repeat. All right, so what we're doing now is we're backing off the key. We're going to move over to position two. And then we're going to cut to nine once again. So we're gonna back off and then we're gonna keep repeating until we get to all the positions on our key. And you want to be careful that you don't go too fast. If you go too fast when you're cutting, the machine will sense that and it can have a hard stop on it. So you just don't want to go too, too hard on your machine. So now we're going to position four. We're cutting to the maximal depth, depending on whichever key we're working on, whether it be Schleg, Quick Set, Master Lock, American Lock, Yale, any key that you can imagine going to want to cut down to the maximal position. Now we're going to our last position, which is going to be five. And 
Right now is exactly why I chose the SC1 key, because I do have position 6 clearly marked. And it would make sense because Schleg keys only go up to 6 pins, and then we're going to cut all the way to 9. However, if you had an SC4 key, you would either need to measure it out or guesstimate a little bit. You need to move the spacing down, and then you would need to get down to that last position to cut the tip. So now that we have our key cut, what we're going to do is we're going to remove it from the machine. We can take a real quick look at it. This is how it looks rough out of the machine. We're going to deburr it. Now we can turn the machine off. So this is what our code cut bump key looks like. It's something incredibly easy to do if you have the right equipment. And let's take a quicker look at this key, a quick close-up look at this key right now. All right, so let's see how the SC1 bump key we just made performs. So what I've done is I have taken the sixth key pin, driver pin and spring out of this Schleg lock, and let's see if we can bump it open. So we're gonna put our bump key in, we're gonna pull it out one click, put a little light tension on and hit it with our hammer. And we're just gonna keep resetting until we get an open. So we just got that open on the second try. And I just wanna say that this was a really fun video to make. I really hope someone found it helpful out there. You can certainly make bump keys other ways by hand filing, duplicating with the duplicator if you have one. But this is how you're able to make a bump key from an original standpoint. This is a really cool thing to have. These are really valuable tools to have in your arsenal. I just wanna say, Thank you so much for checking it out. But either way, guys, if you have any questions or suggestions, as always, please feel free to leave those right in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video, and I hope you all have a great day, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video.